Okay, just going to go over a couple things here about the uh, quick train editor. Um, first thing you're going to notice is uh, there's an on-screen menu which goes over the basics. One that's a little sort of hidden over there. If you push X, when it goes to save, it will save as a export as a .x file instead of the native uh, nuclear fusion or N3D file. The old V key, because all the rest of the commands are the same as the old default viewer. The, uh, the old V key allows you to uh, use a mouse look key. You push the N key, it'll throw up a quick normals display. Uh, that does use a few polygons, so it can be slow. Now, push the T key once, or just push it, and you'll get the uh, train generating tool. Um, a little bit. Uh, you can change some things. You can change detail levels. You don't want to be careful with uh, the settings between the detail level and the size of the train. Because a hundred units down one side train at a detail level of one will make a hundred quads by a hundred quads. So that's kind of big. You want to make sure that you've got enough uh, surfaces selected. Um, Nuclear Fusion will automatically compress that to an optimal number on saving. But you have to have that number large enough to begin with so that it doesn't run into the problem creating it. Um, now, you can uh, randomize the seed just with one push. Two pushes and you can completely move the train. Uh, I'm just going to cut that out of there. If you build a train without the texture, you just get the train as it is. If you have a texture, it'll put it on. So that can be whatever textures in the directory of the program itself, or it can be an actual path. It's up to you. Um, you can change the uh, number of octaves, and it will add some more bumpiness and detail to the train. So the smaller, finer bumps. So that's 16. You have to make sure you have enough uh, detail in the world to see that. So what might take a little while to do here, but I'll put on the image for the sake of the demo. So set the detail to two. Put octaves at five. Wait a second. You can see there you've got a very, very detailed turn. Build the turn again. I have no idea if it's actually recording me while I was doing that. There you go. You see you have a very large um, train and you can see it's about 80,000 polygons. The 40 is probably just for explaining this here, but um, you can see the train is actually quite detailed. And that's going to come later when I allow the cube bake a normal off of that and then use the lower detail train. As long as you don't change this random seed, when we're changing the octaves, um, back to 10. You're only changing the octaves. All that will do is change the actual parent detail. Um, now, if you change this number, you will do pretty much the same thing. It will look less, it will also have less of a smooth look to it. Um, some of these numbers you saw there, um, you can adjust something by sliding the mouse. Just click it and slide the mouse. There you go, and uh, thanks for watching.